Hey guys, welcome to the latest video here on YouTube from Z Code System. Great to have you back here with me. I'm Drew, and today we're going to talk a little bit about the new WNBA 2021 season, which has just tipped off, and we're going to cover a few things because now on Z Code System, due to popular demand, we are giving you the tools to help you make great educated predictions and bets on WNBA games all season long all through the playoffs, and of course, all through the regular season. So we're going to talk a little bit about the WNBA today and just discuss a few of the things that uh, is going to go on in the regular season, especially what might be confusing to a lot of fans and betters, the Commissioner's Cup, which is going to be um, competed for this season for the first time ever. So great to have you here with me, guys. Uh, as you can see there in front of you on zcodesystem.com backslash blog, we've got the WNBA 2021 season preview and some things I've written up about the season uh, and a couple of the key uh, elements, um, especially that Commissioner's Cup and some of the key dates. So definitely go over there and read up on the WNBA season that we have, um, uh, that we've posted today here on May the 24th. And of course, as always, and as I scroll down, as I scroll down, You'll be, able to, you'll be able to see some of the other great things that we've posted here on Z Code System. Um, these great new tools that we have there. Uh, of course, we've got the NBA picks uh, from May 23rd. That was yesterday. So hopefully you were on top of that back when we published that on the 21st. And then we've got some other great things that we post, of course, here on the Z Code System website. Um, all these great picks that we have and we're going to be coming with to you all summer long with more picks. We've got lots of great sports that are going to be going on. Um, the Olympics are coming up. We might be posting some things about that as well as uh, all the other great sports, baseball, soccer, basketball, uh, of course, the WNBA uh, and some other things going on. MMA, we might be getting back into that a little bit, some more posts on that for you right there. But like I said, we're covering the WNBA right now today. And this has been something that uh, was very much demanded by you, the viewers here on YouTube and the readers on Z Code System. You wanted these tools, you asked for, and we've delivered. So if there's anything that you guys want us to post more videos about, or if you want us to post more blogs about, please get in touch or put those comments below uh, here on the video so we can we know what you want to know more about and what you want picks for here on the YouTube channel and of course on the blog. So of course you can go over there and check everything out. So we're going to look at these um, the WNBA here and we're going to talk about a few things. We're going to look at some odds for the WNBA season and we're going to take a look at some tools that I've highlighted today that you can use over at Z Code System using the VIP and uh, hopefully uh, you'll have a great time this season betting on the WNBA. So let's just start off real quickly by looking at the WNBA regular season standings. Now, we've already had the season start. It started back on May 14th, and uh, the season is going to be basically split into two parts because we're going to have a break in the middle of the season for the Olympics uh, when the teams break up for that and they go to uh, Tokyo for those Olympic Games. Now, you can always go over to the WNBA.com website to get the latest standings. Of course, this is going to be a tool that I use this year when I'm writing about the WNBA and possibly betting on the WNBA. I don't normally bet. Um, well, I've, I'll take that back. I've never bet on the WNBA previously, um, but you might be something I want to try out this year because we do have those great new tools here on Z Code System. But as you can see, we've already got the Connecticut Sun out to a great start in the Eastern Conference. And then if we just scroll down, we've got uh, the Seattle Storm who won the 2020 uh, edition of the WNBA uh, championship. They are leading the Western Conference so far. And I've just split this up into East and West. But of course, if you want to group it differently, you can just group it by the league and you can see how things stack up with, again, the New York uh, excuse me, the Connecticut Storm, excuse me, the Connecticut Sun, uh, not the Seattle Storm, uh, leading the way at a perfect 5-0 and after five games. Now, uh, the other day I actually was watching here in the UK on our ESPN um, feed uh, that we have here, the UK ESPN. Um, I watched the documentary on last season's WNBA, which was played in uh, was the IMG uh, Academy in Brandon, Florida, uh, where the season was, um, you know, obviously like all other sports, it was uh, affected greatly 
by the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, and it was a really good, uh, interesting documentary. I believe it was called 144 uh, was what it was called due to that being the number of players um, in the NBA who were in the bubble uh, of the WNBA when they played that shortened season. Now, things to know about this season um, to start with. This year, the WNBA teams will play a 32-game season, so it's been cut down. It was originally going to be uh, about a 36-game season, uh, but they decided to cut it down just a little bit more to 32 games, uh, cut down a little bit of travel, um, all those things that uh, you know that can uh, increase the likelihood of uh, contracting COVID-19. Um, but the season will be a 36-game season, so you've got 36 games this year and the season, like I said, started on May the uh, May the fourteenth, and it's going to run until the middle point of September, and then we're going to have the playoffs taking place there in September and October. Um, and uh, mid October will be the end of the twenty twenty one NBA season. Now, if you, I'm just going to scroll down here um, to show you something very interesting um, that I wanted to talk about uh, in our video here today, and that is the Commissioner's Cup, which is brand new to the WNBA and quite exclusive. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to show that to you in just a second and explain it. Now, if you don't know what the Commissioner's Cup is, um, and, and maybe you follow the NBA, um, which I follow the NBA far more than I do the WNBA, um, the Commissioner's Cup is going to be or is an in-season tournament in the WNBA. Now, we've heard the NBA talk about doing this uh, in-season tournament, very much like the um, soccer leagues in Europe or in North America or South America or wherever, uh, just like the soccer leagues do. Um, for example, if you have, uh, let me let me just use the English Premier League, for example, uh, you have the English Premier League as the, uh, the league that the teams compete in, but then they also have an in-season tournament of the FA Cup. Uh, and the Carabao Cup um, that they compete in, uh, and this is just another chance to get some silverware and to play more, uh, to play more games. Um, so the WNBA is going to be doing this, and for me, being a conspiracy theorist, I'm going to assume that the WNBA has done this um, in a way for the NBA to kind of get an idea of what could ha what it could be like, what it could happen, uh, and I think this is just a test run um, for the NBA to potentially adapt it, uh, adopt it. In the seasons to come, um, like I said, the NW, the, excuse me, like I said, the NBA has uh, previously talked about doing this in uh, in season tournament to increase fan interest in those early season games, and the WNBA has kind of just done the same thing. Now, the interesting thing about this is I was reading up about um, the Commissioner's Cup, and there have been players who have tweeted and who have talked about how they have no idea what the Commissioner's Cup is or how it even works, which is really funny. Um, and I'm gonna not, I'm not gonna lie. It is a little bit confusing um, because it's not necessarily like the the what you would see in a soccer tournament. Um, it's got its own um, Americanized spin on it. And so what it is, is it's this cup tournament and it's going to run. Let me just scroll down so we can see the dates here because I have them down here. Uh, or the, the website has it down here. Um, the dates are going to run from May the 14th to July the 11th. And so this is the first half of the WNBA season right before it breaks for the Olympics. Now, the idea is that this will occur. Um, the, the, the teams will compete in the uh, Commissioner's Cup uh, during this time. Now, the Commissioner's Cup is uh, the, the standings. Now, this is where it gets confusing. The standings are going to be determined by a team's performance against teams in their own conference. Okay, are you confused yet? Okay, so am I. So um, only the Eastern Conference teams uh, will be counted. Their games against Eastern Conference teams or Western versus Western Conference teams will count towards the Commissioner's Cup. And you can see that by, if I scroll back up, we've got already some standings for the Commissioner's Cup. So as you can see there, the Atlanta Dream are one and two in the tournament. We've got the Chicago, uh, Chicago Sky two and one, uh, Connecticut Sun two and oh. Now, Obviously, using Connecticut there for an example, they've already played five games. They're five and zero, oh, but three of those games have come against Western Conference opponents. Those three games they do not count in the Commissioner's Cup. So only the games that they play against these teams in the Eastern Conference will count towards the Commissioner's Cup. Now, in August, I believe it's August the twelfth, we will see the Commissioner's Cup final played in Phoenix, and it's going to be the top team, the team with the best head-to-head -head record in the Western Conference, taking on the team with the best head-to-head -head, uh, 
head-to-head uh, -head record in the Eastern Conference playing each other. And again, we're only counting those games, those conference games, up to July the 11th when the season breaks in half. So kind of in a way, the Commissioner Cup is going to um, – uh, benefit, or sorry, not benefit, it's going to reward the team with the best record in the first part of the season, uh, because those two teams with the best records in the first part of the season are going to play in the cup championship game. While we see later on in the year, when the teams, uh, you know, get through the playoffs, we, we kind of see the teams who have the, the best records and the best performances in the second half of the season rewarded uh, by winning the WA, the WNBA championship. So it's it's a very convoluted um, in-season tournament. I don't necessarily like the idea of it. Uh, well, I, excuse me. I like the idea of the in-season tournament. I don't like the execution of it and the planning of it. I think that they could just simply have played um, you know, games separate from the NBA season, but that's just me, and I'm basing that on uh, my love uh, of European soccer and soccer in general. Now, this is the 25th season of the NBA, and as you can see there, we've got some prize money that's going to be going out to the teams who win and are successful in the Commissioner's Cup. And we're going to see a $500,000 prize pool uh, paid out to the teams uh, that compete in this. So it's just a little bit more money um, that's going to go around to the players, and there are going to be 60 cup games uh, in all. Um, uh, and as an addition, it says now to the WWE, the WNBA's regular season schedule. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, so we've got the Commissioner's Cup going at it this year. It's very exciting um, if you like that kind of play. So we've got that. But now let's just take a quick look at the odds for this season's WNBA and which team you think will win it. Now, I said which team you think will win it. I mean... I meant to say the teams that sportsbooks have picked to win it. Now, these odds are of uh, from May the 14th and courtesy of FanDuel right there in front of you. And, uh, you know, we're only, let me see, 10 days into the WNBA season. And as I said, you know, teams, uh, for example, um, Connecticut Sun playing five games already this year. Now, as we can see there, Seattle Storm, they won the WNBA championship last season. It was their second trophy second championship um, since their formation, and they are plus 250 to win it this season. Uh, and then we've got uh, Las Vegas Aces, who are a strong contender for the title. Um, they are plus 280. And then we go all the way down to the Indiana Fever and the Dallas Wings and the Atlanta Dream, who are massive long shots to win the WNBA this year at plus 10,000. So, you know, pick your favorite teams there. And right now at a 5-0 start, that Connecticut Sun doesn't look too bad at plus 1400 so you may want to uh, get onto that and back them as an outright winner. Now, let's take a quick look at some of the tools we have at Zcode System to help you with your betting on the WNBA. So guys, here we go. We have the first tool that I'm going to show you, and that is the team power rankings. And the power rankings, we have that for lots of the different sports that we cover here on Z-Code System, uh, including the WNBA. And the power rankings are always great because you can see just how the teams are doing. Um, now, this is great because we can also see our last six games, uh, the streaks that the teams are having, and uh, whether they are burning hot or if they are ice cold. Now we've got the Connecticut Storm, sorry, the Connecticut Sun, who are burning hot at the moment. And we've also got the Seattle Storm, who are burning hot. Of course, they're coming off of their league championship last season. So we've got all of these great tools here, and we go all the way down to the Indiana Fever, who are dead up. Um, and of course, the Fever, the Fever, um, they were plus 10,000 long shots to win the NBA championship. So again, you can go over to the zcodesystem.com website, use the VIP and get this great tool, the power rankings. But this isn't the only tool that you can use. We've got other tools at our disposal. So here we have the WNBA Team Strength Oscillator, and you can read up on the oscillator if you're not too familiar with that already. Um, and this is just a way to compare two teams and to see how their patterns and trends are, are doing. Surging, slumping, you can use this to see how they are, are doing. Uh, and you've got some different, uh, you got some different criteria you can use 
to determine these things. So if we've got Atlanta, uh, and I'm just going to pick Connecticut because Connecticut are 5-0 and o, uh, going into um, their next game. And I scroll down uh, and we've got our two teams here. We've got Atlanta in the blue and we can see that Atlanta are trending kind of downwards and, you know, staying stable uh, while we've got Connecticut moving up and uh, they're playing very good basketball right now. Now uh, with the next game coming up against Seattle Storm on the 25th, that's going to be a huge game in the WNBA. So you might want to get onto that. Um, betting on that, that's going to be coming to you tomorrow, uh, which is Tuesday. Um, as I come to you now. Um, so you can check out all these um, different different tools that we have here. And then we've got, you can see the, the, the way that uh, Atlanta has played. And you can then use these other data points down here. And you can see just how these teams have done recently. Um, scores, the odds uh, of the teams going into the games. So this is a great tool that you can use. And we've also got all this information going back to the 2019 season. So you can go back and check that out. So 50 games is what I believe I put it on there for you to uh, get your information on. And uh, you can get that there. And of course, you can watch the Team Oscillator video to get more information on how this exactly works and how to read it if you're not familiar. Now, we also have the totals predictor. And you can get the idea of uh, predicting totals for games being played in the WNBA. And of course, we've got this on the last 50 games once more. And you can see the different trends, uh, the over, under, and the differences that we have here. So um, the over, unders uh, for these teams, and you can check that out there. So we've got our totals predictors there. So you can use that to get all of your information and uh, get up to date on how these teams are performing. And we can see there that the storm playing there on the 22nd. So you can check out all that great information on the totals and know how these teams are playing uh, before you make your predictions for or your bets, I should say, for totals going up in your totals going uh, in the WNBA games. And then one more tool to show you here before we go today here on our WNBA video here on Zcode system, and that is the line reversals tool, which you can use to know more about how the money is going uh, over time for games, the money line, how it is going, the money line, how it is going over time for games. And we can see there we have the New York game when they were playing Dallas on the 24th. And you can see how the money line opened up there and then how it changed over time with the game coming up. And we can just see those dates set there. You can set your dates. So we have May the 23rd to the 24th, and then how the money line uh, was when the game tipped off there. So you got this idea. So you can use this tool to get more information of how the smart money is going in the WNBA on games. And one of the great things is we've always got your back to tell you how things work uh, here at Zcode System, so you can read up on that. And I believe there's a video on YouTube that you can check out to, to uh, learn more about the line reversal tool. So you can use that there. But guys, there's a lot going on this year in the WNBA. We've got the Commissioner's Cup, we've got the regular in uh, the regular season in the WNBA, and we've got the playoffs as well. So a lot is going to be happening this year in the women's basketball division. So you can get all excited about that and wager on games all season long here, courtesy of Z Code System, we'll be helping you out with our blogs and with our videos from time to time. So let us know what you think, guys, about the WNBA and the season upcoming. And if there's anything that you want to watch here on Z Code System, if we're not paying attention to a particular sport that you want to see more of, uh, whether it be like in uh, MMA, maybe golf, whatever it is, let us know. And uh, we'll be putting more content up for you based on those sports and based on what you want to watch. So guys, we'll see you soon here on Z Code System. Good luck with your WNBA betting and we'll be back next time with another video.